The following review has been approved by the best of classic game room special edition laser hypervision album set. Vanished from Earth classic game room broadcast from the intergalactic space arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. Welcome to a very special classic game room because it's one of my favorite games. Why did the frog cross the road to play Atari computer? It's Frogger. I don't know, Mark. I think the more pertinent question here, pertinent. That's a good word. One I rarely use, and it makes me sound smarter. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the more pertinent question is, why has this frog never learned to swim? It's been like 30 years. Take some lessons. Just go down to Target and buy some floaties. They're like five bucks. That won't save you from being squashed by vehicles, but at least you won't drown. Also, you're a frog. You should really swim. But then I guess the game wouldn't be nearly as much fun. It's Frogger! Make your way into one of the five frog docking stations, score points, and stay alive. It's a great game. Well represented here on the Atari XZ computer. Although with a 1983 copyright from Sega, I believe this will... Sega? Wait a second, wasn't this Konami? We've got Parker Brothers on here and Sega. I swear I thought this was Konami. Internet, come here! That's how it works around here. I call the internet and it comes running. Yes, it was Konami. I have not destroyed all of my brain cells yet, but the day is young. So Sega must have published this one and Parker Brothers just put it in one of its funky Parker Brothers cartridges. Those brothers were silly. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I distracted myself, this is one of the older Atari computer cartridges. It should play on the older Atari computers as well. It's basically the same version of Frogger you would get on the Atari 5200, except, and I should just make a sound bite out of this. The Atari 5200 controller sucks. Everything is better when played with the Sega Genesis gamepad. That would make a sweet ringtone, too. Anyway, if you were born after, um, what the hell year is this, anyway? 2014? Did the 90s even take place? Or did I just forget them? Uh, anyway, if you were born after the era when Frogger reigned supreme in the arcades alongside Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, then perhaps you missed this excellence video game where you guide a frog, Across I-95, and then a river with the most bizarre current I've ever seen. How does the river do this? That, that, that can't happen in nature. Anyway, you avoid alligators and snakes and obviously cars and tractors and... Well, the water is deadly too, even though you're a frog. You know, I, I think they should go back and redesign this game. Instead of guiding Frogger across a river which is unbelievable, you should guide Frogger across lava. Which is completely believable because lava would definitely kill a frog, and if you don't believe me, go out and try it yourself. Uh, just throw a frog in a volcano and- uh, don't actually do that, I'm gonna get some animal rights group on me. Don't throw a frog into a volcano, I repeat. Please do not throw frogs into volcanoes. Now dolphins, on the other hand, well I think they got it coming. I mean, I don't trust any fish that's smarter than me. So, on, on that deep thought from Classic Game Room, I've got a shout out thank you to send again to Mark in Fresh Meadows, New York. Thank you, Mark, for sending a box of Atari computer games because they're awesome. So, it's Frogger. It's always fun. It plays really well. It's great on the Atari computer and it's great on pretty much everything else out there as well. Highly recommended. And remember, kids, don't throw frogs into volcanoes. Unless they're smarter than you. Because you gotta beware those super frogs. Like the ones in Blaster Master? Yeah. <laughs>